You're watching ESC News. Thank you for joining us. The Cambodian Minister of Defense, Deputy Prime Minister Thea Bang, affirmed to the international community that military modernization and capacity building in the defense sector is an obligation for each nation in accordance with its own regional security environment and the world. In this regard, the Deputy Prime Minister said any such baseless and problematic accusations made against Cambodia are a complete insult to authority and governance of the country. The Defense Minister made this statement at the IISS Shangri-La Dialogue 2022 in Singapore on Saturday, 11th of June. ESC News reporter Anthony Ellis has the story. Addressing the fourth plenary session on military modernization and new defense capabilities at the 2022 ISS Shangri-La Dialogue, Deputy Prime Minister Thier Ban stated that the Cambodia is still the owner of the Reem Naval Base and that the development of this base is not a threat to security of any country or region, whether near or far. He considered the allegations made against the base as an excuse to undermine Cambodia's interests. He added that the capacity building of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces is not just about moderation of the Reem Naval Base. Cambodia will also continue to increase the capacity of the armed forces, not only ensure the protection of the sovereignty of territorial integrity, but also to successfully fulfill our task, such as to counter terrorism and transitional crime, conduct rescue and peacekeeping operations and more. The Deputy Prime Minister said, the most important determinant is that the proper protection and just defense of our respective sovereignty and territory integrity in addition, we'll need modern facilities to respond to threats including counter-terrorism, marine time security, disaster relief and participation in US peacekeeping operations. He affirmed that Cambodian's main goal is to live in peace, friendship, cooperation, brotherhood and equality with neighbouring countries and countries in the region, and that the Southeast Asian nation only wants to have the ability to defend itself and be able to participate in building regional and global peace. He added that it was an unfair and impossible for Cambodia to be forced into a state of stagnation or regress, while other countries continue to expand their military power and influence. For the last few years, some foreign media and Western countries, especially the United States, have accused Cambodia of allowing China to set up military base in the country. The attack came after Cambodia demolished a US-aided building in the Reem Naval Base. Deputy Prime Minister Thier Ban stressed that Cambodia is an independent sovereign state and the full rights to manage its own national destiny and stated in Article 53 of the Constitution. The Kingdom of Cambodia does not allow foreign military bases on its territory and also does not allow to have its military bases abroad, except within the framework of the United Nations request. The Kingdom of Cambodia reserves the right to receive foreign aid in the form of military equipment and a mission, training of armed forces and other assistance to defend itself and to ensure public order and security within the country. The IISS Sri Lanka Dialogue is a major defence summit in Asia and was held this year from 10 to the 12th of June in Singapore. The summit offers a chance of ministers to debate the region's most pressing security challenges, engage in important biological talks and come up with fresh approaches together. While the Deputy Prime Minister, Thier Ban, was in Singapore for the summit, he also met with Australian Defence Minister, Richard Marlies, on Friday the 10th of June to discuss bilateral relations between Cambodia and Australia in the field of defence. Both ministers mutually expressed the desire to further expand the military relationship between the two countries. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.